Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2, where John Coleman and I are going to have an amazing conversation. I already know it's an amazing conversation because we've got Manny Pacheco with us. Hi, Manny. <laughs> How you doing, guys? All right, Manny, I'm going to amaze you. I'm going to amaze Art, since he really doesn't know what's amazing. Huh? <laughs> Here's the question. Tell me some great songs that are came out of these, these wonderful Christmas movies. Yeah. And I'm thinking specifically now of the most famous Christmas movie, White Christmas. Mm -hmm. Right. Right? Wonderful songs all throughout the whole thing. But all anybody remembers is White Christmas. Now, that's a great song. <laughs> But tell me some of the great songs that have been forgotten in all these wonderful Christmas movies. Well, you know, you can't go wrong with Irving Berlin. And Irving Berlin had created White Christmas, not for the movie White Christmas, but for uh, the the earlier movie Holiday Inn. Yes. And, and that became the song for Holiday Inn. But the song was so iconic that they decided to create a whole movie based around the song. That's oh, not, oh, that that's right. That's, that's right. right. Holiday Inn was the original White Christmas song. That's right. You mean so basically a song was born, a star was born in Holiday Inn and be, got its own movie. Yes, yes. that's exactly that's, right. I forgot. Oh, wow. You're right. That's You're right. right. That's right. And so there were other songs. Of course, most people don't remember that Sisters, that great song, Sisters, yeah. was uh, was sung by Rosemary Clooney and Vera Ellen. And uh, they ended up uh, with um, with that in the movie. And of course, it's reprised very, fu very funny uh, with, uh, uh, with with Bing Crosby and Danny Kaye, which I think is pretty is pretty funny. So there you go. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. I I, I when I hear the name, the song Sisters, <laughs> I think of South Pacific. Mm. I don't know why. I didn't hear the question. I'm sorry. Would you say it again? Oh, I, I just said, when I hear the word, uh, when I hear the title of the song, Sisters, it makes me think that it's from the film South Pacific. Yeah, yeah. No, it's actually from White Christmas, if you can believe that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. Well, I okay, got so, I know so one of your... It's, it's, you guys are now, I think, grasping at straws a bit. So I'm going to give you my favorite Christmas song. And it's from Love Actually. I'm just saying, Love Actually is all I want for Christmas. Okay, that's that's the that's the Christmas song. My wife and I probably watch it two three times uh, in the holiday season, and it's just a terrific song. Uh, that's but, a heartwarming movie, right? So, but can you can you dig down deep? Maybe Mickey Rooney sang a song in a he must have done that Christmas thing. Any more little gems you got uh, there, Manny? Well, from White Christmas, I will I will let you know that Snow was one of those great Christmas songs that uh, that never stayed on the mind of the public. But if you listen to it, it's a beautiful little ditty that's sung by all four of the main uh, actors: uh, Bing Crosby, Danny Kaye, Rosemary Clooney, and Vera Ellen. Any other great songs? Well, if you, you remember the Broadway show Mame that ended up on uh, in movies, mm -hmm. um, originally on the Broadway show Mame, Angela Lansbury sings "We Need a Little Christmas," and oh, great that's voice. standard. Wow. But most people don't remember that it comes from a, a Broadway play. <laughs> right. We need a little Christmas. Yeah. You know that right. that yeah. wonderful rousing yeah. number. Yeah. So sure. yeah, that's that's another one of those great tunes that nobody ever talks about. I will tell you there, of course, Academy Award winning uh, uh, actor Bing Crosby not only sang um, White Christmas, but he also uh, did Do You Hear What I Hear, which was a Christmas song. There's a forgotten song that should be in the conversation, sung by Bing Crosby. And one of the last recordings he ever did was on a television special with, uh, with um, um, David Bowie. And he did that that medley, the little drummer boy medley. Oh, and uh, so, I mean, Bing Crosby really should be known for his ties to Christmas. And he's an actor that won an Oscar. But there was also another Oscar winner that actually sang a Christmas song, and that's Burl Ives. 
And anybody who sung along with Holly Jolly Christmas, that was a Burl Ives bonafide hit. So, I mean, Burl Ives is not, I mean, he's kind of known for Christmas because he, he voiced uh, Frosty the Snowman, I believe, or, or um, Rudolph, the, it was, and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And Rudolph, yeah. Yeah, those, those, those stop action uh, animated TV classics that they did. Yeah. Well, uh, Gene Autry made the first Rudolph song. I'm right, correct. right. Right, and of course he was the singing cowboy on tel on, on, in movies. Yeah. So I'm, th there's another tie-in, but then you look at some of those tele. I mean, Charlie Brown is associated mm. with Christmas in so many ways. Yep. Uh, you you got the you got these wonderful Christmas songs from Charlie Brown, and then there was a, a group called the Royal Guardsmen. You might remember Snoopy versus the Red Baron. Well, they did a, a Snoopy's Christmas. Well, guess what? That song, that Snoopy's Christmas became the best-selling Christmas song in New Zealand of all time. Surpass exactly right. And it surpasses all of them. <laughs> Alvin's Christmas, the Christmas song, White Christmas. It's Snoopy's Christmas that's the number one song in New Zealand. That's funny. <laughs> who, who knew? <laughs> who knew? And then, of course, there's always The Grinch. You had the TV show on The Grinch, and, of course, we had the movie. Mm, yeah. and, and, of course, in, in, the, in the original um tv show the great uh the, the the man who was famous for the tony the tiger thing from Fos frosted flakes mm -hmm. earl raven he's the one that actually sings the grinch song uh you're a mean one mr grinch but in the movie uh country legend faith hill she sings where are you christmas mm -hmm. what a wonderful wonderful way to end that film it, it, it was the closing titles yeah. and it's become a christmas classic as well yeah well, this is the season for Christmas movies. We're inundated with them. Well, uh, so it's just an appropriate it. subject. And, and we should be listening for all those wonderful songs in these movies that are not the title songs. Right. You know, and, and let me also mention that, uh, that in that Christmas movie, as well as that television thing with the Grinch, there's that where all the little the little people from the town, they're singing that. Ha, hoo, hey, hoo, ha. It's a Christmas song. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it, it warms my heart and I know it warms Art's heart as well. It does. <laughs> it does. It's, it's, a, it's a heart warmer, I would say. It, it, he's got, he's got hot cockles just looking at him. I, I do. Can't tell. I do. As a matter of fact, I, I actually, I actually ordered some more extra cockles from Amazon so I can heat them up. I'd share them with my and friends. I'll be sending at the you bottom some. Of your heart. Yes. Are we yeah. even allowed to say the word cockles? I don't. I don't well, understand. You know what? This is a. This is not broadcast. This is not broadcast TV. So. Uh, it's the cockles of your heart. Yes, Matt. cockles. Oh, heart cock. They're, what did you? Th what kind of cockles did you think they were? Oh, the other kind. Come on. This is a family show. Yeah. Really. <laughs> okay. I think. Right, listen, I think it's very it's, special that we should say thank you, Manny. I get and out Merry of here. Merry Christmas. Happy, Happy Hanukkah. Christmas. Happy New Year. Don't forget Festivus. Festivus sing. for the rest of us. And everybody sing. That's right. That's right. Happy Kwanzaa to you all. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.